Hello. Welcome. What's up, M? It's time. It's time to bartend. It's time to be cyberpunky and just listen to people and their problems once again. Honestly, if I could be a bartender or like, you know, the same vibe as the cafe or one of those Japanese bars where you like talk to the bartender and like listen in on their stories and whatnot, I am down. Uh, I'm down. Let's, honestly, let's just get started. Let's get started. Let's just do it. Let's just hop in. Let's just go. See what it's like. I haven't done, like, a visual novel dating sim thing in a while, so voices will be very risky. Very iffy as well. We'll, we'll bring up paper a bit bigger. I am, exci I am excited too. I've been... <laughs> I've only heard oh my god I'm dying I'm eating noodles um, I've only heard good things about this game so it's gonna be an experience and if we're gonna have to search up how to make certain drinks we're gonna search up how to make certain drinks okay I drink the alcohol but I'm not the connoisseur of the alcohol okay Uh, let me know if game is too loud, too quiet. We'll just adjust it as we go. Does it work now? Nope. Nope, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Okay. Thank you for playing Valhalla. Uh, this game is best played comfortable. Grab some drinks, some snacks, and enjoy. So sit back, relax, and we hope you have a good time. That's for everyone here. I can't drink, I have work tomorrow, but I have noodles and I have soup and my water, obviously. So we good. Psst. Hey, over here. Boo. How's that for an entrance? Come on, Joe, look sharp. The game's starting and the player needs a good first impression of its main character. I knew you served a bunch of tuxedo-clad corgis over the week, over the weekend, and the bar will eventually close. And I'll admit, my little prank on you might have gone a bit overboard. But remember, life is ninety percent how you take it. Stay focused and look at a brighter and look at the brighter side of things. I have no idea what brighter side is, but you should totally find out. In any case, you should totally check out that parcel you just got. See ya. Ugh, oh, my voice. Voices and reading, that's gonna be issues. Jill. Oh. <sighs> Just a dream. Hmm. There's something near the door. Chapter 1. Primera. Alright, as white people would like to say, and or uneducated, uh, Primera. How's the placement of paper? Paper's in an okay place. Your membership to Shining Fingered Will- what? Okay. Your membership to Shining Fingered will automatically renew on the 17th. Make sure your account has at least $800 by then. Make sure to save your data using Life Backup. You can now browse the Augmented Eye. What does that mean? Four. So, who was that letter from? It's nobody. So go to work. Hold to unlock our phone. Dude, I love how the hand is Thing's hand. I forgot his name in the other game. The space guy. The alien. Welcome, Jill. Augmented eye. Mass immigration continues. As uh, Wonderlander, Wonderlanders are the newest threat. Cyborg and Heels returns next year. We can adjust the playlist too. Hell yes! Oh, and the sound is great too. Oh my god. Okay, so this is a save. So I guess we can save as we go. So we'll save here. I don't think it auto saves, so we'll have to save after the day. And these are apps that we can't access yet. Okay. 
Okay. We have zero funds. So I guess we're supposed to collect 800 bucks by the time the thing renews. It's the 13th. Isn't it renewing the 18th? I'm already not paying attention. Okay. Okay, in the settings, there's no either. What's scale wings? Oh. No, it's a bit weird for me. Get that cyberpunk look. December 13th! <gasps> Two days after my birthday. Good evening. Ah, hey there, Jill. Oh, hey, John. When will you admit you have a John face, Gil? Yeah, when you let people call you Jules. Quiet. Are you okay? Uh, you look distracted. Where's boss? Dunno, she went out to buy some stuff and, uh... Did you hear what I just told you? You said something. Yeah, that you look distracted. Very distracted. It's nothing, I'm just thinking about stuff. What stuff? Well, I have to pay rent by the 30th, which is always stressful, and... Ah. Uh, there's also the fact that I spent a full hour yesterday apparently talking to myself. Not to mention the fact that two days ago I found out the bar is at risk of closing. So not only is my life being shaken up, I'm apparently going crazy. And on top of that, nurturing four left. Nurturing four. Oh, nurturing four left me with a completely empty wallet. And I'll get, ev I'll get evicted if I miss rent again. And there are all the beer cans around my apartment and Jill. Hi, Abby. I'm doing good. We starting off, we're starting off strong with a very cool game. How are you? I took the moment to eat food. Jill. Sorry, did you say something? Can you really work today? Of course I can. Let's go through the basics then, shall we? Just in case. If you can make a piano man, I'll skip the rest, but bear with me for a second here. Let's start with a sugar rush. Look for the recipe using the navigation bar recipe book that will show up on the top left. What? You can also sort drinks by flavors like sweet or types like manly. Drag the desired amount of ingredients from their cells on the right to the shaker in the center. Kill. When done, press the mix button and then press it again to stop mixing. I just got 300 channel points. What happened? Whoa! Yeah, it should be just a watching bonus, but whatever it is, we th we we thankful we thankful for the for the surprises. Click the serve button or the drink itself to serve it, and that should be all. But if the drink looks messed up, you'll need to press the reset button and try again. You can press the reset at any time, even while shaker's moving. So don't be afraid to use it. Gil. I'm the one that went through the formal BTC instruction. <coughs> then this should be no problem. See, this is why I like it here, because you get free stuff. <laughs> Gil wants either Sugar Rush or Piano Man. If I mess up the ingredients or the drink, I can press the reset button and try again. So... He said there was a... Oh, here, by name. A Piano Man is two aldehydes. Oh, I have to drag it. One, two, three Bronson's extract, five powdered deltas, five flan flanner guide. So I don't think this is actual booze. And three carmatrines. So five, five, three, two, three. $320 for a drink! Holy shit! Uh, and does it say, this drink does not represent the opinions of the bar, pianist union, or its association. Sour promo strong. No ice or anything, right? All on the rocks mixed. Success. The Piano Man. 
I know what I said. Here, happy. Yeah, very, and I stand corrected. <sighs> now let's just get working. Oh yeah, before I forget. Hmm? You can make any drink by doubling the amount of ingredients. But if the recipe already has over 10 ingredients, the drink is already big. Oh, and if a recipe says it uses optional carmatrine, it means you can use none or fill it to the brim. Optional carmatrine doesn't count towards making a big drink, of course. Carmatrine is the alcohol factor in a drink. It doesn't change the taste, but the amount still has an effect. If you add too much of it, the client will get drunk faster, so uh, please be mindful of that. Ooh. I love this game already. What's it called? So it's called Valhalla. Spelt exactly like this, which is super hard to find. Oh, speaking of, let's just adjust this. Oh, son of a bitch. That's like way tiny. We'll, we'll do this. We'll center that. And then we'll bring paper down. Is it free? It is not. I had to pay for it on Steam. Sadly. Are you done with the ex are you done with the exposition? Now I am, yeah. Hey guys. Oh, Bo huh? Who's that? I don't know. I found her while I was out shopping. Why bring her here? Well it was either leave her outside at the mercy of society's finest or bring her unconscious body in here. She's going to make such a ruckus when she wakes up, you know that. Yeah, sorry, it's not free. I know, being broke's not fun too. I waited a bit before I got a job, and then I bought the game. That's up for you to deal with. I'll be in my office. Dana, you can't just push that responsibility onto us. We have work to do, damn it. Well, there's two of you. Believe in yourselves. <sighs> Do you think Chief knocked her out? Nah, that's unlikely. She'd be crowing about it or taunting us if that were the case. It's not like her to pick on such a small girl. At least, not unprovoked. Yeah, you're right. We'll just need to keep quiet. She seems to be sleeping soundly, not comatose. Yeah. Okay then, uh, time to start the night. Yeah, I'll start working while you go clean the bathroom. Ugh, come on again. Well, you spent the whole weekend and Monday doing God knows what. We've had some interesting clients come in. <gasps> oh, I can scroll up for the thing. Oh, very cool. Wait, do we have like... No, there's no other instructions. I just have to figure it out. Dogs, lots of them. You're joking. Gil, you've known me for how long now? Do I look like the kind of woman who would make a joke like that? Well, so as punishment for leaving me to deal with all of that in my lonesome... You'll be in charge of cleaning the bathrooms. Have fun. Just that? Fine. I see no problem. Where's the cleaning stuff? Here. You brought that from home, didn't you? That I did. Fine. With that out of the way, let's play some music on the new jukebox. This model needs to have all of its 12 slots filled in with songs before I can start it. I wonder what's the logic behind the decision. Oh my god, do we have to pick songs based on... I didn't know Cyberpunk was this good. <laughs> Hi, Lemon. How are you, fam? Um, do we just get to choose the songs? Well, I'm gonna... Well, we'll go through all of them. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we're page four. Uh, time to mix drinks and change lives. Hey, you, uh, give me a beer. Oh, sure, right on it. So, what is a beer? Oh, why, what's up? Is it, is like, is it exam time or something? Um, a beer. One aldehyde. Two Bronson extracts. One powder delta. Two flannery glides and four carmatrines. All mixed. Traditionally, brewed beer has become a luxury, but this one's pretty close to the real deal. Bubbly classic and vintage. 
Beer, baby. Here you go. No, no, this isn't gonna cut it. Give me a big one. Um, sure. The beer wasn't enough, apparently. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Crossroad of Destiny, I think that's the term. Crossroad of Destiny? Are you like at the fork in the road? Crossroad of Destiny. I fucking hate chemistry. Well, this is not chemistry, it's math. They're just telling me how to add stuff up. Oh. Why does it bring up Avatar? Shit. Big decision, huh? Well, I hope it's not too stressful a decision, my guy. If you want to, like, talk about it and maybe, like, see how your mind has processed it, you're more than welcome to on stream or in chat. So if you want us to have a rant and then reassess. This, yeah, I've been doubling, right? That's all it has to be. It's need to be doubled. Uh, <clears throat> how about this one? Ah, yeah. Now that's fit for a man like me. Right. You're lucky I was in a meeting close by. This hellhole could certainly use a presence like mine. Although, to be fair, work is taking me to worse hellholes like New Jersey 3rd. Huh? What kind of work do you do, mister? Sure, hang on, I decay where to start. Alright, alright, I'll be ready. You're talking to D Donovan You're talking to Donovan D Donovan Donovan D Dawson D Donovan Dawson D. Chief ed Chief Editor and Owner of the Augmented Eye. Nothing gets published there without my blessings. Uh, the day started with quite the interesting fellow, it seems. So you're <laughs> you're the one to blame for the barrage of daily articles on Alice underscore rabbit then? Hey, people love those articles. They love reading about that urban legend. Can you blame them? The idea of some wild card hacker working for their own goals and nobody else's. That's the kind of coiny shit that brings the, the that brings the clicks from all kinds of people. Was there a bird? And clicks bring money, and money brings nice stuff. Stuff like cars, houses, and plastic surgery for the missus and her kids. Why, why do the kids need it? Well, I'm not complaining about the fact that you write about the hacker, just that you write about them every single day. Some of it even isn't even news, just speculations or copycats. You can't read your newspaper's daily feed without running into at least one article about Alice Rabbit. Well, first of all, I don't write about it. My interns do. The poor bastards think it'll help them make full-time employees. I'm just capitalizing on this topic while it's popular. And second, you're tired of one in and second. You're tired of one article about a supposed hacker? But not all the daily stories about murders and other horrors? Well, I always filter out that section. I don't want to start my day scarred and bitter. I have enough pressure and problems as is. I just don't need to add I don't need to add Glitch City's lovely citizens to the list. You're smarter than you look, kid. But if more people were like you, I'd go bankrupt from the lack of traffic. Still, maybe my job would be easier. That's all. People get desensitized. Desensitized. Donovan D. Dawson. Desensitized. People get bored of a certain kind of news after seeing it repeatedly. When I started in this job, it only took the news of some early, some elderly woman being killed to guarantee clicks. Now you need an elderly woman carrying a sick baby boy getting hit by a truck. That's not enough. They need a full sob story behind it. That's why I like those urban legends. They're easy to write about and you can make up any shit you want. Spam them while they're hot and even people like you, people who avoid the murder stories, will see them. That brings money and like I said, money's good. Hmm, I guess he has a point. What about the opinion columns? Aren't those a good source of traffic too? Oh, I hate those brats. They just write about how they're better than everyone else. They might also write about how everyone that likes a certain something should be sodomized. 
The worst part about that is they know half of our clicks come from them, so they get all diva like on my ass. I think you're being too harsh. What about? No, wait. Let's think of another newspaper. Yeah, the columnist in your page is annoying. See? The kid on the restaurant critique column. Ugh, uh, shit. I forgot that brat's name. Restaurant, I believe that's. That kid couldn't care less about his name. Anyway, his column is the least visited of the bunch. He gets less hits than the obituaries. However, he still insists that I keep paying for his adventures in, outra in outrageous restaurants. Okay, I'm gonna head to bed. It was nice staying, and I'm happy I got free stuff. All good, Abby. Thank you for popping by. I hope you have a nice sleep. See you next time. I swear to God, if chat wasn't here, if chat wasn't here, I'd straight up just not eat my food. <laughs> I wouldn't have any problem with with that if he actually wrote about half of the places he visits. How so? He rarely writes about the places the newspaper sends to him. But he rarely writes about the places the newspaper sends him to. I've even heard he tries to go, f he tries to get free meals by proclaiming that he's a food critic. Poor bastard only gets laughed at when he says that. I do remember some guy coming here was asking for free drinks and saying he's a critic or whatever. Did he look like a fat child with a really small face? No. Wasn't this one then? Anyway, all this talk made me thirsty. Try to give me a beer this time, please. Coming right up. This man likes his beers. But they come cheaper in bulk at the store though. So why does he... One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Big boy beer. Here. It's the big things that make life worthwhile. What about big troubles? Did I stutter, kid? Right. So tell me, do you see many celebrities in this hellhole? Please stop referring to this place as a hellhole. If a place smells like soap and dog piss, I'm within my constitutional rights to call this a hellhole. I, I'm doing my best over here, thank you very much. Who was that? Nobody important. Hey, I heard that. Don't be offended by what I say, kid. I'm insulting the building, not you. You can think of it as a small hole in hell rather than a hellish hole if you like. Charming. So, celebrities. Not really. At least not that I know of. Why? Well, to begin with, you have a serious VIP as a client, but I don't see you losing your shit. You're not making me feel special, honey. And second, because I'm always up for gossip regarding famous people. Especially the red carpet kind of famous. Those, those folks people pretend to love but actually want to see fall from grace. Pretend to love. Fall from grace? Why do you think that gossip about famous people always sells? People pretend that they love celebs, but what they really want to see is their idols torn down to their level. They want to see them suffer. To get their comeuppance from... Sorry. To get their comeuppance for daring to be so much more successful than them. I think gossip is just something that everyone enjoys, but nobody wants to admit to enjoying it. You thought wrong. But even if you were right, it wouldn't change the fact that people love that kind of stuff. And they want to escape their lives by living somebody else's. Sadly, I failed to see the appeal in that whole thing. What do I care if this guy I saw in some random movie was wearing socks with sandals, or if they're dating God knows who? Granted, socks with sandals is practically a public indecency, but you know, still. Oh please, as a bartender, I bet you have strong voyeuristic streak. You always, your kind always loves to hear this stuff, just like hairdressers. This sounds hypocritical coming from you. Hypocritical coming from you. Uh, even if that's the case, I don't sensationalize what people do. I don't make it more than that person you know from TV acts like a human. Sensationalize is the keyword here. Just the other day, I saw this committee, this committee judge bitching over what some girl was wearing to the store. No matter what you say, these people don't exist solely to entertain the public. 
But this problem is just because they're the, one, they're the ones consistently cultivating the idea that they're perfect and untouchable. I don't know if that's them. Going to exotic locales, dressing in elegant ways, indulging in, ev in every luxury they can think of, but Donovan, wouldn't you do the same? All that just leaves the public craving for those little moments when they make a mistake and fall to their level. I can't say that's a lie, but sometimes the crowd just wants to see they're human. Hey, that dude that plays the nice guy is indeed a really nice guy. To be fair, the gossip articles don't help. Sensationalizing everything. It feels like they're just instigating a behavior that shouldn't even be acknowledged in the first place. <laughs> you like your words, uh, brat. You like your big words, huh, brat? Well, two can play at that game of... Hmm. Hey, you're a bartender, right? No, I'm a lab rat. I'm a oh fuck he's drunk. No, I'm a lab. I'm a lab rat hell bent on world conquest. Sarcasm is my time, my money, and your energy. Refrain from using it. Anyway, I just realized that a bartender like you must have heard quite a few stories in her career. Talk about changing the topics. Maybe why? Wouldn't you like a column talking about those? I bet they would sell quite well. It would be like, it would be like that priest who published confessionary stories. Oh my god! And then got excommunicated and lynched. Holy shit! People usually tell me all this stuff because they know I'm just a simple bartender, a personal stranger of sorts. We could have you ghostwriting half of our staff do that. They do? You don't really think Lana Smithy is just one person, do you? Ah, figures. Anyway. Eventually, the people from the stories would know it's them and blame me. Not only would that hurt us as a business, it would hurt me. I really like hearing clients rant about their lives. Oh, and it would hurt the clients too, I guess. <laughs> well, if you ever retired, that offer is waiting for you. Yeah, I'd like you remember me two weeks from now. Sure. Do you want another drink, Mr. Donovan? Mr. Donovan. Mr. Donovan. Did, did I say something wrong? Not at all. I just really like the sound of that. Mr. Donovan. Mr. Donovan. Is it really that special? At work, everyone calls me Mr. Dawson or Boss. Boss is just a title. It's too impersonal and cold. It is. Mr. Dawson was my father and grandfather. It's too general. But Mr. Donovan, now that's more like it. I'm gonna finish this chat with Mr. Donovan. They're referring to me, to the man in front of them, not to my family, not to my position as boss, to me. Do you want your employees to get personal with you, Mr. Donovan? Oh, gods, no, but I want them to fear me, not because I'm their boss or the name appearing in their paychecks, but. Rather because I strike mortal dread into- Who the fuck is this man? Sorry, and tomorrow I'm gonna make everyone call me that. Oh yeah, you were asking something, was it? Drink? Another one? Do you? Ah, yes, yes. But I need to cut myself off. I remembered I have a nice shift later. Give me something bitter and big, but not alcoholic. I need to wake myself up. I can do that. Bitter. Bitter. Optional carrot, carrot, car carametrine. Okay, so two aldehydes. He wants big, sorry. And Bronson extract. And then optional ketamine, so one won't give him. Bitter, girly, and soft. Oh, maybe he won't like that. Suplex. Bitter, manly, and brain. Okay, this is gonna be more he likes. So eight of these. And then. Six of these. And then six of these as well. It's not optional, so. Wait, is it something with optional? A Zen Star is four of each ingredient, all in the rocks and mixed. Is this all the bitter drinks? Pile driver. One catch me. Bitter promo bland. 
Big bitter, no alcohol at all. No alcohol at all? Wait, so fluffy dream. Optional. Yes, there we go, that's the one. So, one, two, three, four, and then four flanner guides. And then optional catcher means so nothing. Sour, manly, and sobering. That's the one. Oh fuck, he did say bitter. God damn it. Okay, gut punch. That's the one. So 10 of these. And then two flanner guides. Because he doesn't want alcohol, like he wants to wake up for his night shift. All aged, all mixed. Oh, he needs it aged. Reset. One, two. Aged and mixed. Got punch! Alright, I'm turning on my lights. Uno minuto, por favor. I also need to buy food. If I buy food, I don't have to wait for dinner or like snack and I can just have my dinner for streams. Okay. Well, okay, so basically I'm part of a university choir. Currently we're in a transition period. Election? Because the current chairman is graduating. I used to want to be a chairman, but over the past year that sentiment changed. However, I was nominated by two members to be one of the candidates, along with two others. Sadly, those two want to take the responsibility. No one else volunteers, so I kind of feel a calling that I should take the position, but that would mean I need to replan my life for the next one year at least. Eating stream, dude, if only. It would, I would feel bad if it was just eating. I would need to make it a cooking stream and then eating. Damn, so th that is pretty big crossroads. I'm assuming if you took up the presidency, you would have to... Um... God, yeah, because it's a clock. 